Welcome to my first ever vacation lookbook where you're going to see me show off my outfits while being super awkward about look kya kahenge I'm going to take time to get used to it but till then enjoy my mini compilation of five very cute summer friendly outfits yeah let's go The first outfit is a very pretty minty green jumpsuit You can tie it up according to your preference. I've added this crunchy because that's a must. It also matches my bag in such a way it feels like I got it complimentary with it. Then we have these rings that I got from H&M. Wo hota hai na paad chhe ka set. Wo wala. Everything about this video is so aesthetic, no? I would have added like a soft Bollywood music but then copyright claim ho jayega. Going for these spatrels that gives me a little height without actually wearing heels. Showing off my earrings. It's from the small business and I absolutely love it. Here's another attempt to show it to y'all. These are the only sunglasses I wear on my eyes. Rest to go on my head. Not only because this is numbered but also because it's super comfy. I got it from Lenskar 1 plus 1 deal. Spoiler alert. You're going to see me wear the other glasses in the next outfit. Wow, entry pe entry. Final outfit appreciation shot before we move on to the next look. And pose, pose. Oh, wait, look at that. Can you see the butterfly? Now you can. This is going to be my chilling at the pool side without actually going to the pool look. Remember the glasses I got on the 1 plus 1 deal? Here it is. No, I'm not literally blind without them, but you get my point, no? Mujhe isse dur ka chashma hai sirf. My bhai gifted me this Apple Watch and I chose the smallest dial size, which also looks a little big on me, but I still love it. Are such belts still in trend? I don't know. I had one in school and when I saw them again, I had to buy it. There is something about the returning fashion that is so much fun. I like to add this tiny buckle. It holds on my hair and doesn't look like too much on the very little hair that I have. Then what? I sat by the pool posing for some time, after which I started throwing the ball at my husband without actually realizing he's holding the camera. Luckily, my shots aren't that powerful. Also, these are the sliders I went for. Yep, they're still loose, but comfy hai to I like wearing them for walks. Folding my sleeves not knowing I'm going to get the best shot later. See? I mean, look at the leaves dancing and all. Full SRK feels, no? Next, what do we have? My lunch date at a vacation look. I didn't carry matching footwear, but this looks good too. Good too. This is the prettiest watch I own. It screams fancy, bougie, and all the expensive words I don't know of. Okay, lunch break. We both went full desi because nothing beats hunger like roti, sabzi, and cheese garlic naan. Okay, coming back to the outfit. Wanna see something more blingy? Close up. The straps of the top made me buy this. Yes, I'm that easy to convince. Presenting for the first time, my wedding ring. It's so pretty, no? I'm wearing the same spatrels and bag as before. Whenever I know there's gonna be a lot of walking, backpacks and sling bags are my way to go. And bato bato me, that's it for this look. I clearly need to learn more on how to pose. Anyway, moving on from the dark to this super colorful look. This dress is at least five to six years old. When my friend gifted me this, I didn't even wear it for like a year because I was so worried about the two slits. But now I love it so much. It is, I think, from Forever Twenty One. I started with these delicate earrings, some rings from the same ring set, and this diamond necklace. Love the whole calmness of accessories here. I then added this bag along with these sunglasses. This bag is so retro but also quite spacious. Enough to hold my emotional burden. This bag itself makes me want to go to a nice cafe and order some like nice fancy tea. Totally forgot about my heels. Love this lilac color. The heel is really tiny just enough for me to feel comfortable and I got it years back from Lulu and Sky but the quality and everything is still intact. Wearing a daytime look at night time and still slaying it? Yes, that's me. Although I do regret not wearing my black boots that I carried with this look. And here's me practicing for the fashion shows that I'll be invited to in the future. I carry this handbag to actually hold my husband's stuff. No, really, believe me. Wearing the same belt as my poolside look and regretting why didn't I wear my black boots again? And again, after taking ten thousand shots of me in this outfit, when my husband literally gave up, we finally went for a nice competitive games night, followed by dinner. I didn't hit even one, and that's his winner face, I guess. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this mini lookbook with a lot of blabbering, obviously. And with that, I'll see you in a new video soon. Pretty backdrop, no? I had to take a shot here. Acha okay. Thank you for watching, and see you in a new video soon. Bye bye.